This section of the course is all about planning a network before we build it out. So why do we plan before we build? Well, I think that's a fairly simple question and there's a fairly simple answer. Number one, we need it to do what we need it to do. And from a business perspective, that means it needs to meet our business requirements and it also needs to meet our technical requirements. Now, what happens if we don't properly plan a network and we just build it out? Well, we're gonna have all sorts of issues and we're gonna have all sorts of risks and we're going to end up having an ad hoc network design. An ad hoc network design meaning that it's not going to meet our specifications and it was inadequately designed. And when we have an inadequately designed network that was built out, well we're going to have all sorts of issues and I have them all listed here. And when we have all sorts of issues, we're constantly putting out fires trying to keep it up and running and we have a very reactive approach to keeping the network up and running. So whenever anything breaks, we have to fix it and we end up having a break fix mentality, which is not what we want. Now, this is an issue that we commonly see with small and medium businesses. I'm gonna go ahead and circle this. And so why do we commonly see this with small and medium businesses and most likely small businesses? Well, it's because this is all around resource constraints. And when you have resource constraints, you can't afford to do what you ideally wanna do. So you may have monetary constraints and you may have personnel constraints. You may not have the expertise that you need to build out this network. And so that's why it's primarily, primarily around small and medium businesses and typically not with larger businesses. So now let's talk about the issues that we're gonna have. Well, if we have an ad hoc inadequate network and we're following a break fix mentality, well, we're gonna have troubleshooting issues because if it wasn't properly designed, then we're gonna have issues when we're troubleshooting because maybe we don't have a network map, maybe we don't have a network design to go off of when we're troubleshooting issues, or if it wasn't designed in the first place, we're gonna have a hard time just keeping it up and running. Now, again, if it wasn't designed properly, it's not gonna scale per our needs, so we're gonna have scalability issues either now or in the future with the network. And then, of course, if it's not running properly, we're going to have reliability issues as well so the network's not gonna have the availability that we need. And then again, if we have somebody design our network that doesn't know what they're doing, if they don't secure it properly, we're gonna have network security issues. So our network isn't gonna be as secure as we want it to be. And this is a huge one. And this will lead to all this combined troubleshooting issues, scalability issues, reliability issues, and security issues. This all leads to these two bottom points that I'm gonna go ahead and circle data loss issues and costly repairs. So we're gonna lose data a fair amount of the time and typically this is something that we wanna prevent. We may lose it due to reliability issues. We may lose it to network security issues. And this all leads to costly repairs and us spending more money in the future than we should have spent in the first place. So now let's talk about some more issues that we can face. Well. Number one, business downtime is something that may end up being a huge problem for us. And a lot of people really don't think about this. You know, we do have business downtime, but what's the impact? Well, when we have business downtime, we have decreased revenues, we have decreased profitability, we have a tarnished reputation, and that all leads to one important thing that we don't want, and that is a loss of our customers. And so, you know, you don't really think about this unless you are on the business side of the house when the network goes down. You don't understand how decreased revenues are going to harm your business. You don't understand how that leads to decreased profitability of your business and a tarnished rep reputation, which is something you want to do your very best to prevent, all leading to this one last thing, which is a loss of customers. And if we have a loss of customers, that's really going to doom our business in the long run. So we want to prevent all this information and all of this from happening here. Now, when we are planning a network, what's the benefits? Well, the benefits is that it keeps the process focused and organized. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these. And so when we're focused and we're organized, when we're planning, then when we go to the designing process, we know our business requirements and we know the technical requirements as well as our resource constraints. And good plans are going to produce the best results. So if we plan well, we're going to have good results. On the flip side, if we plan poorly or if we don't plan at all, when we go to design, we don't know the technical requirements, we don't know the business requirements, we don't know our resource constraints. And so when we design and build, we're gonna have the worst results. And then lastly, this is a very, very important point, is that if we are doing this from a consulting perspective or if we're doing this from an employee perspective, both our clients 
and employers expect us to properly plan before we build out a network. So that's why we plan before we do anything else. 